morning, everybody. Hey, it's Denise with Lazy K Homestead. Today is day six of our sourdough starter from scratch. I almost got tongue tied. <laughs> if I look a little ragged, I've been outside all morning um, with the animals, getting everything ready, working in the greenhouse. And uh, I thought I better get in and get this done because I am late, late this morning. So I do apologize. Um, today's going to be a little bit different. We are going to weigh out 200 milligrams of our starter. Here it is from yesterday. And at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, post a little picture and show you how tall it did get. Actually, it got all the way up here. And I think by the time I got a picture around to get the picture, it was here. So today's is uh, going to get even uh, taller because it's rising with the fermentation process. So we need a bigger jar. Okay, so I'm going to use this. This is an old, very old, from the 70s, mayonnaise jar. Let me show you the difference. That's a big difference. Of course, it is wide mouth. Um, kind of a neat little story. There was a gentleman, an elderly gentleman in Monterey, who uh, called our local co-op and asked them if they knew anybody that needed ball jars. He was getting rid of all his mother's ball jars. So she called me and I was like, oh, of course I'll take them. First of all, the history, to carry on the history. And second of all, to have more ball jars, right? You can never have too many. I've got closets full. But anyways, so this was, got a couple of these in there and I got a couple of really, really old ones too. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find that. I know I'm off task, so, but you guys know me by now. Anyways, this is one that was in there and I don't use these. Um, I just think they're precious. So I use them just to store things in like some dried peppers and things like that and for decoration. And this is another one that was in there too. Perfect Mason gall. And it had a chip, so I'm not gonna use it for canning. But I am going to use this big giant mayonnaise jar. And that should be big enough because it is bigger. Okay. Um, I could use this, but I don't want to take my sugar out of it. If you've got a half gallon, um, that'd be great. I did have a half gallon, but I, when I went to look for it, I found that Willis had been putting change in it from his pockets and it's full. So I'm not going to empty that and clean it out. So this, this is just going to have to work. Um, you're not always going to have a giant um, jar of starter in your fridge keeping it. You're probably only going to have maybe this much, if, if that. Depending, because when I make my bread, I use two cups of starter every time. So that leaves me about two cups left. So when we get finished this, we'll bake bread and then we will, uh, and I'll tell you what we do after that when we get to that point. Okay, so same as yesterday, except we're increasing to 200 milligrams. So we've got our scale, put you down here. Our scale is gonna be tear back to zero. And we are going to go ahead and weigh out 200 in here. And this is very liquidy today, which is good. little bit more I always like starting with my starter at the bottom you know it just depends on what how you guys want to do when when you're in your kitchen with your experience after you've got your starter however you want to layer this and putting it in there okay so we're at 200 now something else I'm gonna do different today instead of continuing with whole wheat I'm gonna start putting all-purpose flour in and using that and that is what I feed my starter with in my fridge so you could have started your starter from day one with all-purpose but I find that it's not quite as active in the beginning and whole wheat really is and rye is supposed to be even better but I couldn't get my hands on that okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and weigh out 200 milligrams of the all-purpose flour. 
And probably for this, I'm gonna need my trusty funnel. Okay, and we'll tear that back to zero. Always remember to tear back to zero because you'll mess up if you don't. And we're gonna put 200 in here. Almost there. All right, there we are, 200. Okay, so that's pretty full. Let me go ahead and put this down. Kind of looks like a parfait. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to go ahead and put 200 milliliters or grams of water. Now I tear, I made sure I'm tearing back to zero, and here we go with the water. Okay, there we are, 200. Turning off my scale, and again, we are gonna mix. Mixing all of it, as we've been doing for the last six days. So everything is good and mixed. Starters mixed with everything at the bottom, water, and your new flour. And this is going to make your starter, if you do do what I'm doing with all purpose, it's going to make it a little bit um, lighter, which is fine. And again, I'm just scraping this off. And you see there's some dry flower bits there. I'm going to mix that in really well. Okay, now this will probably climb this jar all the way up. And I will tell you, uh, even when you've got your starter and you're feeding it, you've had it for a couple years and you're baking bread and you've got your starter out and you fed it for the day and you're like, I'm making baking bread this afternoon. The starter can climb out because it's active and it can climb out and go down the side. So don't be afraid of that because nothing's wrong with it. It just means your starter is awesome. Okay. So there it is. Let's see. Oh, and don't forget, I know I didn't do it in the video this morning, but we went ahead and we smelled our starter. We looked in it and made sure everything was fine. So ours was good. So I guess I was just assuming that it would be fine. And here we go. We've already got bubbles. So I get that in the starter. So that's wonderful. Okay, guys, that's it. Day six. We are done. And as usual, my jars are not beautiful, but let me see if I can scrape it down. I know. There, I just want to show you while we were here, while we are here, how many bubbles are already starting in there. Look at that, those big bubbles. That means it is happy that it's being fed because that's basically what we're doing. And now we're going to put our lid on here. I'm just using my same lid, leaving that little air gap, and I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on my stove, which seems to be a very happy place for the starter. And we are done. And I will see you guys tomorrow with day seven. And basically that's going to be the same as today. We've got, let's see, uh, three more days, seven, eight, nine. Okay, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.